Kohaloyim la Yahawo, Bashim, Yabasha, Bashim Kakadash, the Bahamas to the Apostles' Nails, a great millstone, and the singers to Hope Lent around the world. May Yabashim Yabasha continue to protect and guide our steps throughout these turbulent times. This is your brother Dahl, coming at you with another one. Okay, today's lesson is every word shall come into judgment. Once again, every word shall come into judgment. I'm going to start off with the definition of work. Okay, something done, discreet act performed by someone. Action, proceeding business that is made or manufactured products of labor, physical labor, toil, skill, trade, craft, or occupation. Opportunity of expending labor in some useful or re remunerative way. Military fortification. Um, let's see, what we got uh, uh, physical effort, absorption, uh, scholarly labor, artistic labor, labor as a nursable commodity, embroidery, stitchery, needlepoint. Um, right. Let's see, we got nothing to worry in that. Activity directed towards making or doing something. Your acts, okay. Uh, a product produced or accomplished through the effort or activity or agency of a person or thing. The occupation of which you are paid. Uh, applying the mind to learning and understanding a subject, especially reading. That's right. The uh, hopeful let or applying their uh, their faith to uh, what's, what's being read throughout the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? That's what builds up your faith towards Yahweh Bashem Yahweh all right? All right? A manifestation of energy, the transfer of energy from one physical system to another expresses the product of a force and the distance through which it moves a body in the direction of that force. A place where work is done, the total output of a writer or artist. The work, all right. Um, that means uh, our actions dictates our outcome, basically. All right. Um, if you uh, do wickedness, you receive uh, wickedness. If you do uh, uh, righteousness, you receive righteousness. Ultimate uh, life. Okay. I'm gonna start off in uh, Ecclesiastes 12, 13, 14. Okay. Ecclesiastes 12, 13, 14. Come. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. The whole matter. Okay. If we do good towards the Al-Bashim Yahweh we receive light. If we do wickedly, we receive damnation from the Al-Bashim Okay. Fear the Most High Yahweh and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. That's right. And this is our whole duty as the Israelites. You know what I'm saying? Just to fear Yah by Shem Yah You know what I'm saying? And rehearse the righteous acts because we can't keep all the commandments uh, perfect to the best of our ability. You know what I'm saying? Because we're in the chains of darkness, we're still just to go off. Okay? That's why we have to pray for mercy. And ultimately, uh, uh, Rehearse the righteous acts and doing what's pleasing in the eyes of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right? All right, verse 14. For the Most High Yahweh shall bring every word into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. And that's right. And each and every uh, one that's on the planet Earth right, right now is uh, here to receive judgment, whether it be good or bad. Okay? That's why it's imperative for us to be walking in the ways of Yahweh Bashem and Yahweh Shai. You know what I'm saying? Not offending him. Because if we offend Yahweh Bashem and Yahweh Shai, he's just going to put us to death. Okay? It's Yahweh Bashem and Yahweh Shai is doing the killing. Okay? Out here, not these Edomites. Of course, he is their sword. You know what I'm saying? Yahweh Bashem and Yahweh Shai use these Edomites, these so called white people. To, uh, as his whipping stick against the Israelites, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay. 
because we went off. But ultimately, it's all the judgment calls over y'all watching y'all was shot. Okay, that's him putting your your daughter or your son to death. Okay, so it's important that you fear him. Okay. He's going to uh, show those who fear him favor in these times. Okay. All right. Uh, let's we're gonna get uh, let's see Psalms ninety six. Right, Psalms ninety six. Thirteen. Psalms ninety six thirteen. Okay, come before the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, for He cometh. For he coming to just the earth. That's right. And uh Yahweh Shai is coming back to just the earth. Alright. And his second return. He's going to gather his elect. And he's going to destroy the rest. You know what I'm saying? And uh all our enemies uh, start with Esau Edom, these uh international bankers, these Amalekites, they're gonna go they're gonna be the first fruits of slavery. Okay. Because they're going to uh, survive uh, the nuclear destruction. But they're going to be first fruits in uh, chains. Okay? Because they put us in chains. All right? You shall judge the world with righteousness and the people with his truth. That's right. Because uh, at Yahweh Shai's second return, the righteousness is going to finally reign upon the earth. Okay? And the truth will uh, overtake all lies that has uh, been brought upon the earth. All right? That's why it's going to be an everlasting kingdom and the uh, Israelites are never going to go off again. That's why we're going to have eternal life. Okay? Because we're going to be perfect. Call all you love y'all about Shun Yahweh Shah. All right, that's going to be Ecclesiastes uh, 11 and 9. Okay, come. Rejoice, O young man, in thy you. That's right. Because we have to return to Yahweh Shem Yahweh as soon as we get this truth, okay? And let thy heart cheer thee in the days of thy youth and walk in thine, and walk in the ways of thine heart and in the sight of thine eyes. But know thou that for all these things, the Most High Yahweh will bring thee into judgment. That's right. And those that, that walk out of their own vain heart and wrong vain opinion, they're going to be destroyed because they're not walking in the ways of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. Because the ways of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai is life. Okay? Walking blindly out here, not knowing who your enemy is uh, or what they're trying to do to you, you're going to be destroyed out here because you're walking blindly out here. And ultimately, you haven't been given that I sell, you know what I'm saying, to be circumspect in knowing what's going on these times, okay? Or you don't you just don't have the faith, ultimately, you know what I'm saying? All right, uh, get Matthew, Matthew uh, 12 and 36. Matthews 12 and 36. Come, but I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give a pound of counsel like you. They're up in the day of judgment. That's right. All you scoffers and mockers that, that scoff against the truth, you're going to have to answer that when uh, 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 you're put on the judgment seat. Okay? Now you talk, uh, 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 make, make, uh, Okay, make make mockery of the prophets. You're going to have to give a, a account of that in the day of your judgment. Okay, when you go before uh, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, that's why it's important to watch your tone, watch your mouth, and uh, uh, think before you react. Basically, all right, all right. Next, gonna get Luke twelve and two. Luke 12 and 2. Con. Okay. But there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, and nothing 
but neither hid that shall not be known. That's right, because in everything that, that was hidden before these times are being exposed in these times. Okay, all the uh, okay, uh, how these uh, Edomites, these so called white people, have been dealing uh, treacherously with the Israelites, you so called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, all the atrocities that they have done to our people over here in Atlanta, America, and uh, amongst uh, different uh, providences uh, uh, upon earth. Okay, oh, uh, that's being known. In these times, okay, everything's being exposed. All right, all right, let's go get Romans 2 and 16. Romans 2 and 16. Come in that day when the Most High Yahweh, by Shem Yahushua, shall judge the secrets of men by Yahushua Mashiach, according to my gospel. That's right. The second coming, Yahweh Shah is going to uh, judge everyone according to what's written. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's uh, in our best interest to uh, return to our power and uh, rehearse the righteous ass and uh, do what's pleasing in his eyes to the best of our ability that we may uh, receive mercy in these times because Yahweh Shah is coming with all the smoke. And I don't want no smoke from y'all about some y'all shy. Man. But it's going to end this lesson. I'm going to end all about Shalom. Quam Yasarala. Wa Bab Kshah. Bab Kshah. Bab Kshah. Y'all about some y'all shy. Quam Yamala. Yazah. Nwa. Hashem. Ma. And I am Yapuwa. Montezat. Yahain. Wa Bab Kshah. Bab Kshah. Bab Kshah. Y'all about some y'all shy. Shalak. Thank you, Father. Mother woman. Wa Hav Shah. Wa Bab Ball. Wa Bab Ball. Wa Bab Ball. Bubble ball, shallow one.